In this video, we're going to talk about modulation and modulation is perhaps one of the more sort of brain bending topics when it comes to synthesis. So it's definitely something we want to spend a little bit of time on. I've just dialed up that basic sort of ravey synth sound again. What we can do with modulation is basically change that sound over time in interesting ways. Now we've already seen some of that with the envelope generator. The envelope is on the, the amplifier and this is essentially a form of, of modulation. So we can set that up for a nice sort of fade in kind of stringy sound. Now what you can do with modulation, so essentially you can think of this envelope generator as modulating the volume of the sound. So modulation is essentially changing a parameter in the sound over time in an automated way. Um, that's probably the simplest way to put it. So in this case, we're using an envelope which is generating a, a curve of volume to modulate the volume of the sound over time from when you hit it to when you release it and it fades to zero. You can use the envelopes to do other things as well. Now let's just turn the, the cutoff frequency on this filter down a bit. Get a very low sound. Like that's, that's filtering a lot now. This filter mod option here essentially tells the synth to route some of this curve, this, amp, this, uh, this envelope to modulate the cutoff frequency of the filter. So if we set this up, not only will the sound fade in over time, but the filter will fade in and out over time as well. Perhaps it wasn't terribly obvious there, but let's, if we turn this all the way down. If we turn the resonance up, it'll become even more obvious. You're getting those classic sort of synthy sounds now, aren't we? <laughs> That's that sort of classic filter sweep sound where the cutoff frequency of the filter is changed over time. And yeah, an envelope is a perfect way of doing that. So you can use the filter mod option here to use this envelope to do that. There's also a pitch mod option here, which modulates the pitch of the sound over time. Let's just turn that back up, otherwise we won't be able to hear anything. So we can set the pitch mod up and it'll actually bend the pitch of the sound over time. It's not the most musical of effects, but it might be useful for sound effects and things like that. Um, and you can, of course, use those at the same time and get all sorts of crazy effects happening. All sorts of crazy stuff. Now, sometimes you might not want to use this envelope generator to control the filter. So we have this envelope generator over here. Now at the moment it's been sitting there doing nothing, but it can actually do whatever you like. It's not, unlike this envelope generator, which is permanently hooked up to the amplitude, this envelope generator is hooked up to nothing by default. It doesn't do anything at all by default. So you can have a sound that yeah, has that sort of organ-like you know, coming straight on and off. <laughs> profile in amplitude, but you might want to sweep the filter in. So we'll set a, a low bass cutoff frequency. We'll sculpt this filter a bit, or this, this envelope a bit. So we'll just have it come in and then release out. So it'll fade in from nothing, stay at the, the top level, and then fade out. And we'll use, you use this filter mod, again, to control how much of that controls the filter. 
So in this case, we want to control the filter a lot. So we'll move that around there. If we hit the sound. You can hear that filter fading in at the start of the sound. If we set the attack time all the way around. So the sound's not actually getting any louder. Or we can do actually a better example rather than release. I mean, you can, you can modulate the release yeah, the, the filter after the release, but because there's no release in the sound, the sound is going to stop dead. So the filter is going to be modulating nothing. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put in a decay time and we'll change the sustain. So this filter will come in and then decay out while the sound is still playing. That attack time might be a bit long. <laughs> see it. you could hear the sound come in and come out so you just get that filter sweep on the that first bit of the sound and then it falls back to a, a lower level of filter and essentially what this filter mod does is controls like it controls how much effect this has on this parameter so if you set it to zero it'll have no effect if you set it all the way around, it will have a very large effect. If you set it in the middle somewhere, you'll get just a little bit of that, that filter hump. Maybe it won't even less than that. Maybe even a little bit less. It's almost barely there now, but you can still, definitely still hear it. Again, you can use you can do a pitch modification here as well. Now, tying it all together, you might want to do something like this. Um, yeah, two sword waves detuned like this are a classic synth sound, but they're also a, you can use that to, to model all sorts of different sounds, and that that sounds a bit like a brass ensemble almost. To make it sound more brassy, you can give it a, an attack here. Well, it's a very fast attack on the filter. We want to do a filter mod at the start to basically give the sound a bit of a, a brighter sound at the very beginning of the sound when the, the, the trumpeter is just sort of blowing into the, the thing for the first time and then have that, that brightness come down to a more subdued level for the rest of the sound. So we'll go for a very fast attack, sort of a, a bit of a decay no sustain because we want it to just come in and and fade off this this sort of augmentation of the the filter amount and we want a fair bit of filter mod there that's probably a bit too bright still overall it sounds a bit synthy still but you can even that is a pretty cool pretty cool sound Maybe we do want a little bit of attack actually, and maybe a little bit of attack in volume as well. And we can do the same, do a bit of attack and decay in this, the volume as well. It's a little bit trumpety. It's not really there, but it's, you can get the idea. You could even put in just a slight little bit of pitch bend at the start. That's too much. You want it to be really, really, really subtle. That's still too much as well. There's a beauty. You can use the scroll wheel on these number boxes to get really subtle modifications. Too much filter mod on there, that was the problem. 